Bob Crawshaw, welcome to Content Group TV. Thanks, David. Bob, you've just returned from the Public Relations Society of America annual conference. It's the largest gathering of public relations consultants around the world. What was it like? It's amazing. Uh, it was held in San Francisco this year over four days. And each conference, and they're termed international conferences, gets 3,000 delegates from around the world. So can you imagine the meeting place of all these ideas, all these people from different quarters of the globe? It's sort of like when you attend the conference, someone takes a set of jumper leads, you know, like for, from a car, how you jumpstart a car, and they wire into your brain because the energy, the ideas, the passion is just amazing over four days. It must be overwhelming to try to do it, but what are the key things that the world in communications are talking about at the moment? Well, what's happening right now, particularly in North America and also Europe, the European Union, is social media is absolutely baked in to every significant piece of communication, marketing, PR and advertising. So it's now just a given. We've moved beyond the novelty of the platforms. It's baked in and it's integrated into absolutely everything small agencies are doing, government departments are doing, big business, small business, Main Street and Wall Street. So from now on it's something that you have to do? It is absolutely something that is required because if you're not doing it, what you're, literally, what you're doing is you're taking a stamp, you're putting it on your forehead and you're saying, I've got a use by date. I'm not actually out there communicating with the way people are. So it's most important. But the other thing is, all the other forms of communication, all the PR, the marketing, the event management, all of that is remain, remains also constant. However, social media is added on to that. And the real skill which people are wrestling with is how to integrate all of this so you reach all of your audience. But how do people do that? And what's the advice in these conference spaces where they're giving to people to help them to deal with this challenge? Well, the advice, first of all, is to make sure that right from the planning start, you, you have got your senior leadership focused on the communications package, of which a vital element is social media. So a key element for any, a key task for any communicator is to make sure that they have the support and the understanding of their CEO, their departmental secretary, their boss about the importance of social media right now. But how do they overcome the resistance? How do people get people, senior people, to understand this notion of it being baked in and being very necessary? Right now, I think there's three strategies, David. The first strategy is Everyone sort of knows about social media and you, you'd have to live under a rock not to. So everyone knows about it, but a lot of senior management is still cautious. So what communicators elsewhere are doing are they're pointing to similar organisations and using their case studies of success to show the way ahead what can be done. Then they're matching that up with a body of research now, right now in the European Union, America, and here in Australia, there's a massive amount of research showing the relevance and the importance and the spread of social media. And these are hard figures which managers could understand. And then the other thing they're doing is, if, if managers are not used to, um, uh, are not comfortable with the idea of social media, let's just do one little thing. Let's try a pilot. Let's try a narrow segment. Let's make that work and then build it on from there. So let's say that we are able to convince the senior managers that we start. How do we get going? How do we get started? You mentioned that strategic alignment between the traditional channels, the traditional marketing elements of, of marketing, of public relations, advertising uh, and events. How do we bring those together to make sure that they are aligned and effective? Well, I think it's got to be brought together in the, whoever, is the, whoever is heading up your whole communications effort. He or she is approving a plan or developing a plan, and then part of that plan is the social, is the social media. 
Stepping down from that, once you've determined you're going to use social media, and let's assume that you're on the platforms, I think the other thing that uh, is coming out is you need a content management strategy. And that consists of two parts. The first part is, what exactly am I going to say? How am I going to sustain a conversation? Now, when you and I use social media in a personal sense, that's a very simple choice. We talk about what's happening in our daily lives in terms of the comings and goings of what we're doing. And we relate that with family and friends. However, you can't really do that as a government, as a business, as a not-for-profit. People expect, well, that might be interesting, but it'll be a short-lived conversation. The other thing you can't do as well is to simply use the social media platforms as an electronic brochure broadcasting or blasting your stuff out. So the trends are now looking for using social media to tell the stories of your organisation, to tell the stories of the people that you're helping, to tell the stories of your staff, those helping your customers, clients or citizens, and also to tell the stories of your passion, your commitment, your enthusiasm, all the things that make you different and make you worth listening to. But how does that give value to the people who that you're looking to engage with if you're telling stories about yourself? Well, you're not actually telling stories about yourself. You're telling stories about those that you're helping or those that you're impacting. No, old rule of PR, no one cares what you know, they do care that you care. So it's that same principle applies.